Hello friends, it's Shara. Thanks for stopping by. Long time no see. I haven't made a video in a little bit. Um, I have just been in some sort of mood. I can't even describe it. Um, I'm totally into my babies and taking pictures, but I just haven't wanted to make videos and I didn't even make a video of this guy's homecoming. So I want to share him with you now. This sweet, sweet baby who I am so in love with is the Maverick Sculpt by Lori Sullivan Roy. And he was amazingly painted and rooted by Leticia Moreno. And I am just in awe of him. He has a full body armature so he literally moves any way that I want him to go, um, which is amazing. I don't think I'd ever have a silicone without a full body armature again. Um, he can suck his thumb. I'm not at the right angle, but he definitely can, can suck his thumb. I mean, his hand can go or his arm can go any which way that I want it to go um, because of the armature. And he's a great size baby. He's 22 inches. Um, so he's a perfect newborn one month size baby. Um, his hair is rooted just so incredibly. He weighs about nine pounds, but I'll tell you what, with having the um, full body armature, I don't think he feels as heavy as um, as nine pounds. It's like it gives him less dead weight and more um, structured weight. Does that make sense? Like a real baby, I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's just not like a nine pound sack of potatoes. He he is easy for me to lift and to carry and to move around. And this body armature, oh my gosh, it's just incredible. It can do so much and he can just stay there. So it goes all the way into his wrist. His fingers are there's no armature in the fingers or the thumb. And then this hand is um, fisted with just the thumb coming out. And I mean, I literally can just do whatever I want with his arms. And I love that. I'm going to take his sleeper off right now. This is an adorable Mori sleeper. I got this actually off of eBay. I couldn't find this new, but uh, it's gently used. It's such a cute design with the moon and the star and the little Mori character. I love it. So let's get this off this little guy. Leticia's um, painting is unbelievable. So realistic and um, the hair. Oh, it's okay, little guy. Um, the hair is so realistic. I mean, I, I, I'm just in awe of this baby. I can't stop taking photos of him. And, um, yeah, so, um, I have named him Emrys. And Emrys means immortal. So I thought that was a perfect name. I love the name and the meaning for him. I named his middle name Aziz, A-Z-I-Z, -Z, which means love or adored. So he definitely is loved and adored. So he has a newborn belly button. Now I had, um, a custom order set up for the month of April with Leticia. And um, she got really busy and uh, was gonna be delayed in getting him 
uh, done. And then I found this little guy done by Leticia just last month. Um, he was brand new and he was on um, Reborns.com. And so Leticia offered to refund. I had fully paid for him and, and for the sculpt that she was gonna do. And I just fell in love with this guy and I really wanted a baby done by Leticia. So um, it just worked out that I was able to cancel the custom order with her. I, um, she shipped back the baby, the sculpt that I had bought and I actually um, sold him already. And, um, or I actually traded him um, and, uh, I got this guy and I am just so happy that I did because he is so perfect. Like, look at this, his, I mean, of course he's, they're soft armatures, so they're not really rigid. I mean, but I can still put him in positions. I mean, look, oh, I don't want to play with him. I mean, I want to play with them all the time because they're so amazing and his silicone is so soft. Um, but I don't want to, you know, break them. But th these go all the way down into his foot so his foot can go back, which is so typical of a new baby. Um, they go up into his hip a little bit so I can put his hips in. I don't want to make him look unnatural here, playing with him too much, but... So anyway, what I was getting at was telling you that I didn't pick his um, hair and skin tone and all of that. I wouldn't have picked this belly button. Um, Leticia, you know, sculpted this to look like a brand new baby. I think he looks more like a one month old baby, so his belly button would be healed, but that's really not a problem for me. But, I mean, he could be a newborn as well. I just think his, his face and his size look more like a little bit older baby. Now I feel his armature in his head as well. I haven't moved that one as much. Let me show you what he came with. So these are all the originals, I believe, that he came with from Leticia um, to the uh, seller that I bought him from. So this beautiful, really fluffy blanket. And I am new here, little Teddy lovey. So cute. She couldn't find his original pacifier, but she sent this one. It's RR. I think it's Ryan and Rose. He was um, wearing this adorable sleeper. It's velour. It has a little pocket with a bunny sleeping in it, almost like a little sleeping bag pocket. It's a footed sleeper. And then it snaps up the back and has a drop bottom. Love that. So cute, we love the bum flaps. Very cute, that's from um, Isabel Mora. Very cute. This little romper is so cute with a little Scotty dog on it. It's like a cotton sweatshirt material with the outline of the Scotty and then um, the little muslin uh, long sleeve little Peter Pan collar with the little Scotties. So cute. And then finally, it's a little crop sweater top that has um, a ribbon going around the yoke eyes in the back and then two little buttons. And it has a little caterpillar. It's a caterpillar or a butterfly or a bee. Oh, you know what? It's a bee. I just realized it's a bee. So it's a little bee, there's the wings and the little bee butt. So cute, it's a little bumblebee.
so, so cute and it's all embroidered. And then these adorable little um, really sheer like chiffon um, bloomers. They look like they would be some high-waisted bloomers. But it's definitely a B on the on the on the blouse because there's little bees on the bloomers, which are just so so cute. So here is the um, COA. It's um, LR Design Studios presents the Dollmaker's Cottage full body silicone baby doll uh, by Lori Sullivan Roy. It's Maverick Milo, open edition number four. And then she signed. So cute. And then here is Leticia's. certificate that she does. I don't think she goes by Dreams of Tiny Angels Nursery anymore. I think she goes by her name, Leticia Moreno. But um, this is his um, birth certificate. I think that's actually a picture of him after she completed him and then he was done on the 2nd of March. So just last month. So that is it for the um all of the um things that came with him i definitely am so in love with this little guy i'm still learning how to um, position him and change him i will turn him over now and show you his backside i won't show you his privates just because um I've done it in the past, but he looks so real that I really feel like it could be offensive to someone. But I will show you his adorable little bum bum. So, so cute. And he is very flexible. You can see this is not a real baby. This is a doll. <laughs> um but he's structured so he is just amazing and i'm so in love with this guy um i just couldn't be happier and i loved the sculpt that leticia was going to um to do for me but i think i like this one more it's a little bit bigger um and i i am just in love with the um with the full body armature so in love with it it just makes it so nice for posing and it, it makes it nice for dressing um, because it's almost like a real skeleton and a baby it's the, he's squishy but he's got structure so it's almost like he has a skeleton it's um and he's not heavier it's not i, I don't know it's just amazing so Anyway, I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and just leave him undressed right now. I don't know what I want to put on him. Um, maybe I'll get some photos and attach them at the end. Um, I still feel really um, awkward dressing babies on camera. I um, I don't know. My, my foot has really been bothering me again, unfortunately. So I find that I stand weird. I don't know. I just feel really awkward now standing and, and changing babies. I hope you guys like this new little guy. His hair. I'll show you his hair. I mean, his hair is just so real. I mean, it's so real. He's so cute, you guys. I just love him, little Emrys. I do. He's so cuddly to hold, but um, he's structured well to photograph. I mean, he's just perfect. I, I can't imagine a better um, combination for me. And um, I mean, I, I think this is going to make me want a girl with a full... 
<laughs> with a full um, armature. But uh, not anytime soon. I'm very content. Um, he just makes me so happy. I really want his head to turn. His head turns. Um, I just think I'm afraid to really turn it. He moves so real. Don't you? Huh? Yeah, I guess his head doesn't turn as well that way. Maybe this way. I know that it turns... But I find that um, I have found that he just poses so well that it doesn't even matter if his head um, turns side to side as much. But um, I feel the armature. I think that um, it's the armature. He, his head wouldn't flop without pushing the armature. So I think I need to actually get the armature to turn and I'm nervous. So, <laughs> but you can see that his head didn't flop back until I pushed the armature. So it holds really well, but his head is heavy. So I would think that that could cause the armature to break and I wouldn't want that. Oh, I just think he's perfect. He's so cute. He's got a nice deep mouth. He can take a full pacifier. He's got a little tongue in there. So cute. And like I said, he can suck his thumb. Let's see. Let's get you to suck your thumb. I, uh, I just powdered him just cause. So he has fresh powder in his mouth and on his thumb so there he goes you got your thumb and then you like to take this hand and hold it in yeah i see babies do that all the time they put both hands in there because it's not enough just to have one oh my gosh she's so cute all right guys well thank you so much for coming by and meeting my new little guy. Um, expect lots of pictures of this guy because um, I'm obsessed and I can't stop taking them. All right, friends, have a wonderful rest of your day. As always, we are sending you wishes of love and light and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.